What was your oh crap I might not be straight moment? When I said to my friend this dude is cool, I wouldn't ask him out, but if he asked me I wouldn't refuse turns out I'm gay and shy. I used to have this thought to myself in high school about my friend. I really didn't want to be gay. But I had to confront the thought that if she wanted to be my girlfriend, I would have wanted that too. She didn't, and also I didn't tell anyone haha. My therapist was doing a series of quick questions and asked you like boys? And I was like yeah and you like girls? And I said no? I don't know? And he well, straight people normally answer that one way differently than it hit me, at 23, that I'm not straight, might be bi, and all the watching slash reading lesbian porn, finding that actress pretty, fantasizing about a girl two years my senior, noticing great boobs slash ass wasn't me being so okay with being straight that I was okay with having experiences with women I actually kind of like them so yeah, I was that oblivious. The obliviousness I get. I watched a lot of gay porn while extensively denying I was gay. Is this, like, a common thing? Met a girl via Twitter through a tag, started talking, and then moved to video calls. Every time a notification came up on my phone from her, I got that warm-faced, fuzzy chest feeling. We're just good friends I said to myself, like a liar. She's just really sweet and I like talking to her. Four months of this and one day she mentions Philip. I ask her who that is, as I'd never heard the name from her before. Oh, that's my boyfriend. Oh. Okay. Recent boyfriend? No, we've been together seven years. Around minute five of crying is when I realized. Crying about that and feeling like I'd gotten my heart broken wasn't normal. You know, like a liar. I finally got Melanie Ed. My life is complete and I can die happy. In high school P I tried out for football. The coach was showing us how to tackle. Six there I was, getting full on body slammed by a 300 pounds tank with a beard and arms bigger than tree trunks. I did. Nat. Complain. Turns out I don't like football. I just like rough sex with bearish men. Also, erections while wearing a cup are very uncomfortable. Good on you for staying true to your username. The day when I was 16 and had just realized that the only porn that I had been watching up to that point for the last 5 years was the gay kind. You, watching gay porn you, 5 years later, still watching gay porn wait a second. It took a while but we got there eventually. One time in high school, I knew a girl who was really attached to me. I had low self-esteem and she would always be happy with me and she would say things like you look cute today and that skirt matches your eyes. I never thought she liked me because I would just think, nobody can like me or I would just think I was lucky to have someone so nice. It was by Valentine's Day she made me chocolate in a little pink lock and lock as she confessed her love to me. I almost fainted as I coughed in shock. Wrong reaction. She was confused but we talked it out. That year we went to prom together, she was my first best kiss that grade and we were one of the most famous lesbian couples in our school. We later broke up because she was going to her dream college in California and we both agreed a long distance relationship wouldn't be good. Ever since, I knew I was gay as F. Wholesome and laughing out loud for the as F at the end. Very first clue that I was by was rewatching Harry Potter when I was 11 and wanting to make out with Hermione super bad. Then when I was 13 me and my friends were all at a sleepover and, since we were horny teens, we played spin the bottle. I got my best friend and it was like the best thing ever. Lol yes Emma slash Hermione was definitely my first celebrity crush. I did that gay people thing where I was like I'm obsessed with her because I just want to be her. It got harder to do that once I starting having crushes on my real life girlfriends. The first part is understandable because I think every human being wants to make out with Emma Watson, as she is perfect. Can confirm, I am gay but definitely had a crush on Emma Watson as a kid. When my best friend came out as a lesbian and my brain went automatically yes we have a chance with her, wait so turns out I'm by edit, by we I mean me, a dumbass, and whatever runs my emotions, and no I did not say I had a chance with her out loud second edit, for clarification, no, we never got together. 
Turns out she was experimenting more than anything else and told me she didn't like women before I could even get the courage to tell her. We stopped being friends shortly after, for different reasons, and I have no way to contact her anymore. She never knew and probably never will. Lucy if you're out there, I don't think about you anymore, except for this moment of my life that, in the end, is more about me than about you, but I once fancied the way you would smile at me a bit too much. Don't worry when I'm talking to myself in my head I say we too. Finale, someone who understands. When I was 13-14 I was at a sleepover. We discussed our boys we fancied list than our girl crush list. They named celebrities, I named like. Holly from drama class, one of our female teachers, a girl in the year above. And was yeah yeah she's pretty and she's so cute when she, I was then informed a girl crush is when you want to be this person, or be like them. Not be on them or kissing them and holding their hand while you walk round a Christmas market. And that's how I found out that being attracted to girls wasn't a straight person thing. Edit. So turns out a lot of people didn't understand girl crush as this and now I think we should all create a support group and discuss ladies we want to take on a Christmas market date. Ong I really hope your friends took it well, what an awkward revelation to having during a light-hearted game haha. I'm the same as you though, I always fully thought a girl crush was a girl you fancied, like, would want to f, so I also played the game wrong for years laughing my butt off. I think I was out as bi when I was 13-14 though so probably not a big shocker to most of my friends. Yeah they were all really supportive once I figured out I was actually bi and were hella sweet about it. I think they were just a bit shocked at first because I was like oh no but I am straight haha ha, that's the default right? And they were like I'm wanting to f slash kiss slash date slash run away to Paris with a woman isn't what I understand is straight? Wholesome as f. That do I want her or do I just want to be her is really a terrifying thing though. For the longest time I thought I wanted to be this one chick. Nope, I just had a huge effing crush on her. Yeah, I got confused by the girl crush thing, too. I thought it was exceptions to my heterosexuality, not admiration and desire to be them. Took me till college to figure that out. Basically, I got a text from a guy I met at school. Literally never talked to him outside of that one class. The text said hey, you're pretty hot. Want to F? Now, I assumed that my reaction would be no I'm straight, but I sat there and thought about it. Long story short, I thought he was pretty hot too. We chatted for a few days, sent some pictures, then we F'd. Long story short no, we want the long story long. The long story adds in a drunk phone with the only gay guy I knew asking him how he knew he was gay do I could help another friend figure it out. Only just occurred to me that he definitely knew that was bullcrap. Wait no can you please elaborate it. It's for my English homework. Please. Then you would have replied, you're. And you wouldn't have effed. Your use of double contractions is pretty hot. Want to eff? I wrestled my best friend in middle school and realized in the middle of it that I prefer it when he's on top of me. Edit. Woo this blew up. Let's hope he's not a Redditor. And yes, yes we hooked up later you middle-aged suburban women you. Novel is out soon. This one made me scream out loud, it's perfect. He made me scream a few years later too. Can you explain more for science? A few years after I realized I was physically attracted to him we both started to drink. We were about 16 or 17 years old. One day we decided to skip school and hang out at my mom's while she was at out of town. There we were drinking, taking shots of Jack Daniels and chasing it with coke, thinking we were real badass. Well, I finally worked up the courage to kiss him. And to my surprise we went along with it. I didn't know if he'd hit me, punch me or call me names. This was my first crush and it was a line I thought I'd never cross. Yet, here we were. Kissing. In the middle of eating each other's faces I was instinctively reaching in between his legs, and, holy f he was gifted. He got on top of me and pushed me down onto the bed. Both my arms above me while he pinned me down. He took his knee and started to rub the spot between my legs below my crotch. I'd never felt anything so orgasmic. Before you know it, I was saying his name looking up at him all flustered and out of breath. When I was finishing, I remember screaming his name. 
I wrote a very long diary entry in late middle school about how beautiful my best friend looked as she slept at a sleepover. I wrote in detail about her fluttering eyelashes, her smooth skin, her parted lips, her deep breathing, etc. I closed it out by saying that I'm not homosexual and I never would be, I just thought my best friend was a beautiful soul. We started dating a couple months later. Never is a really short time. Not if you're going by global gay time, GGT. Or gay light savings. I closed it out by saying that I'm not homosexual and I never would be, I just thought my best friend was a beautiful soul. That's a very complicated no homo. Honestly? Absolutely sappo like and I love it. Was year 10 UK, maybe 15 years old, on a school trip to the US, shared a two double bed room with three upper sixth, 17 to 18 year old, guys, this would be back in 2007-ish, when skinny indie kids with greasy hair were the thing. One of them was this guy, who was 18 and I thought he was so mature and grown up, he wore a proper thick woolen trench coat and told stories about girls giving blow jobs under it, which to a 15 year old felt like I was talking to some sort of wizard. He had very pale grey-blue eyes, but with dark skin and messy curly dark hair so they really stood out. Anywho, they decided that being squeamish around other boys was kind of uncool, so this guy decided after his shower to walk across the room stark bollock naked to get dressed. And he was really thin, but muscular with it, and that was the first time I'd really looked at a vagina before, because he stood there tolling off with a bit of a smirk, as if he was trying to make me uncomfortable. I was not uncomfortable. This reminds me of a bully in school who would ball tap other boys and sometimes grab them to make them feel uncomfortable. I never felt uncomfortable when he did it to me, he was kind of cute laughing out loud. Yeah that bully gay is f. Sounds like fanfiction laughing my butt off. Going down on my high school best friend in the science room storage closet. If anyone asks, I was looking for test tubes. To test how gay I am. To test if tube is working. So you lived out all our school fantasies, eh? Good in you mate. Did she? Come in the closet? I'll show myself out edit yes I didn't read the username. Megara from Hercules, and Hercules, Chell from Road to El Dorado Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit Lola Bunny in Space Jam, and quite recently reignited my passion for men too, Zagreus from Hades. For me it was Chell from El Dorado. Also Kita from Atlantis. Oh. And Esmeralda from The Hunchback I could go on honestly. Jasmine in the red outfit pretending to be into Jafar. I make my wife uncomfortable by doing my best impression of this. But that could be because I'm a bearded man stroking her chin saying that her beard is so. Twisted. Well I know what I'm doing to my wife when I get home from work. Also Kita from Atlantis. Yes. Yep Megara, it was the scene where she's was drying her hair out over the lake that really did it laughing out loud. I was over my friend's house and he took a shower and came back to his room naked and started playing Fortnite naked I was way too interested in looking at him that I knew I wasn't straight. That's kind of odd. Why wouldn't he put on clothes with company over? Maybe he wasn't straight either? Sounds like he wasn't thinking straight at the very least. I know someone kind of like that. Had a college roommate like that. Me and the other guy would yell at him and throw things. He was effing weird. You had it lucky, every single person in college for me was like that. They didn't waste a effing second to show you their dick and ask like bro what the f are you doing, not everyone wants to see that crap. I think you're the reason a lot of people awaken to their own sexuality, and I choose to believe it's because you're overwhelmingly attractive. They knew what they were doing and wanted you to see it. This actually happened to me, I really liked the dude and he really liked me too, we were both too shy to say but you could tell from a mile away due to happenings like these. I changed HS on third year and the beautiful love story came to an end, we did meet afterwards and I swear we could have f then and there but neither made a move, I'm still in love with that dude and been in for 9 years since I met him, and I'm afraid next year I'm letting it go, I have to live my life. Why don't you make a move then? If you're just going to let go anyway may as well lay your cards on the table beforehand. 
Wait, go say something. If he's single there's a chance. You'll at least know for sure about the letting go part. This sounds like a porn intro laughing out loud. I was reading a blog and it said bisexuality was imagining yourself married to either gender and being happy with it. It's probably not an accurate statement but I figured yeah, I'd be totally fine with either. Later on I thought about the sex part, was completely repulsed and learned the term asexual. See, I think about it this way too, the marriage analogy. I've only ever had hetero relationships, and I've been happily married to my husband for more than a decade, but I would absolutely love to be married to a woman. That sounds like a dream. Sexually, I've experimented with women a few times, and I'm super into every aspect except giving oral. Absolutely not into it with women. Lol. Just not my thing. So I feel like I can't rightfully claim to be bi. Ugh, sexuality is weird. I failed to point out that I have only ever slept with women, and I think I worded myself poorly, repulsed was too strong. I enjoyed sex and I enjoyed making someone else feel good in the moment, but it's just not something I think about. The last time I slept with someone was in 2016 and I don't crave it, or even particularly want it. At the time the offer was there and I just figured I didn't really have anything else to do. I struggled a long time with asexuality. I thought I didn't qualify because I get myself off and I'm not opposed to the idea of sex, I actually enjoy learning a lot about stuff like BDSM, etc., but only by reading about it, not by experiencing it, I wouldn't say no out of curiosity, but it's not something I explicitly want. It's a little hard to describe. The best way I can put it is that I like the physical feeling of getting off, but I don't need or want the intimacy that comes with being with someone else. Mostly I don't worry about it, I know sexuality can be rigid or fluid and I think it can change around. Girls be looking way cuter and I develop some feels. But the solidifying moment was during a girl's sleepover where we played truth or dare and I had to kiss this girl. Oh boy I did not want that moment to end. Do you think she noticed how much you were enjoying it? Well I assume she hit her boner. Oh she figured out pretty quick. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.